Before moving on to Parseval's theorem, we're going to introduce the idea of the direct delta function in terms of Fourier transforms. So recall that we had defined our Fourier transform pairs by the following two equations. So f of x was given by the integral of f of tilde of k times ei kx uh, integrated over k, and this Fourier transform uh, was given by this equation. So that means that we can rewrite f of x by substituting in the value of f of tilde of k, f tilde of k by this expression. dx, so this was this variable over here. Then we have ei kx integrated with respect to, to k. And we're going to change our uh, our dummy variables to differentiate it from this x. We'll denote each one of these with a prime. And then we're going to again change of order of integration. So we're just shuffling around our integrals. So we have dx prime times f of x prime. So we've taken these two terms uh, to the side. The constant one over two pi can be moved around anywhere. And then we have our integral with respect to k and we can move each one of these because each one of these functions depends on k. We can move it inside this integral. And we're left with something like this. So we can add up the arguments of each one of these two exponents when they're multiplying each other. And we're going to define this quantity in square brackets as our delta function. x minus x prime. An integral with respect to k. Okay, so at the moment, this is just notation. We're going to associate this entire integral with some quantity called delta of x minus x prime. So that means that we have f of x is equal to the integral over dx prime, f of x prime, and we've replaced the square quantity by this new function. So what this new function does, you notice here we have f of x prime, which is some argument. When you integrate it with uh, our delta function, it filters out the value of f at the value at the uh, at some value x. Right, so it picks out our value of the function at uh, when its argument is equal to x. And this is an important uh, quantity that arises in many applications. And we'll use it uh, in showing Parseval's theorem in the next video. Some properties of the delta function. 
are if you integrate between two numbers b and c or delta function then this is equal to one or we say equivalently the delta function is normalized if a is in between our two numbers b and c so a has to be in this interval for this to be true the delta function is a uh, an even function so it doesn't matter which way the arguments come uh, they give the same result and an extension of this result is if x is now equal to zero so when we have delta of x prime then this returns the value of her function when x is equal to zero all right and so in the next video we're going to use this new function and some of its properties to show uh, a new result called P Parseval's theorem or Rayleigh's energy theorem. <laughs>